uh, hello friends uh, today uh, ajay this side again and uh, what i brought you today here is uh, another application of machine learning uh, the detection of diabetic retinopathy okay and uh, for more simplicity and getting more understanding about the topic and related about the application of machine learning in healthcare industry i have just used here neural network uh, and uh, you can extend the application to deep learning or something else uh, you can get to know about my uh, the deep learning at my uh, previous videos okay so here i'm going to show you an sample application and uh, how uh, you can you would be able to detect the diabetic retinopathy disease with the help of machine learning and uh, this time i've done this on matlab so uh, okay let me tell you about myself uh, a briefing and okay we provide the services um, uh, related to machine learning and data science and also build the smart application using artificial intelligence techniques and iot for getting uh, for uh, sir, for related services please uh, call me at my number 7307339944 the organization is situated at us so whenever you make call please put a isd code at the front okay, let me separate this thing okay and uh, we uh, as our organization working on machine learning and artificial intelligence things since uh, past few years more than four years so uh, we have already built uh, more than lakhs of algorithm for future upcoming technology so if you have any issue related to this and you want to develop any uh, intelligent application don't hesitate to contact me okay this side ajay jata my contact number you can mail me your query at my email id ajay jata at the rate outlook.com also for getting more information related of uh, related to our services which include um, uh, services to uh, PhDs and research scholar and uh, research project related to government and um, private organization so you can visit our website at finitesolution.in and for getting a smart getting a smart application in the related area at www.webclinics.com and for getting uh, the classes to the st student as we provide the training all across the globe you just must visit mindcreature.com and subscribe subscribers and getting more about the machine learning modules and the courses okay so let's switch back to the main topic and uh, here i'm talking about detection of diabetic retinopathy so uh, most of the people don't know much about diabetic retinopathy so let me uh, give you a detailing of this thing okay here i'm using wikipedia okay diabetic retinopathy is a type of disease eye disease which uh, it is the major cause of blindness in the age of 20 to 64 in between uh, the year of 20 and 64 so uh, this uh, what actually happen if a person is suffering from diabetes it is po quite possible that their retina get affected by diabetes okay so here the statistics says that it affect 80 percent of people who have diabetes for 20 years or more at least 90 percent of new cases could be reduced if there were proper treatment and monetizing of eye okay so think about the machine learning application if an application is available and uh, and every person is having that application who is suffering from diabetes would be able to diagnose it before his or her eyes get damaged okay so uh, soon uh, within a uh, very less period of time you would be uh, I'll, uh, i will make a, the another application live built by me and you would be able to detect diabetic retinopathy and it, the application is entirely focused uh, on the people who is suffering from diabetes so this time i'm just showing you a sample so th this is how it look like a uh, diabetic retinopathy disease eye which is influenced by that diabetic retinopathy though uh, we, some of the people won't able to understand this thing but machine can do this thing okay so here i switch to my imp uh, implementation okay i've done this thing on matlab I've, as i have already told you let me show you the database first okay here i taken uh, some sample cases okay uh, few eyes which are which is in 
suffer from diabetic retinopathy up to 12 and the rest of the 12 are suffering from diabetic retinopathy up to 24 okay and few of the cases i am using for only testing purpose so here my script let me show you my script and it's working uh, so that i can brief you brief everything so this is the program i use for training purpose okay you unlike okay what this folder do okay this uh, okay uh, i'm going to explain line to line and how it works okay this is an application of machine learning and i have used neural network feed forward and uh, the two layer which i introduce here is tensing and pooling okay three layer of tensing one layer of pooling okay and the network is being created here so let me give you a brief okay here this is for the reading hold the images in the data folder this is my database folder I, uh, I just give the name of database folder and it will read all the images from the folder line to line okay the cropping is the most important part because I'm segmenting the area of interest from here so I give the dimensions here and the plotting uh, this is for the plotting of image and and figure I'm sure for showing image this is for plotting again this line will convert image into binary format okay and the subplotting is being done here okay then uh, th this will return a size of the matrix and so that we can process line to line and uh, we'll be getting the uh, homographic image of, of the diabetic retinopathy if we uh, if the value of c comes out more than 5000 then this image is uh, being damaged else the image will get converted into grayscale and we calculated its mean and standard deviation value okay these mean standard deviation value will be used for feature purpose and this is the process of feature selection i hope i explain you everything let me show you the so show and this is these are the labeling i have done here okay uh, the first Im first few images which are uh, not suffering from diabetic retinopathy is labeled 0 rest of the images which are suffering from diabetic retinopathy is labeled 1 okay and uh, this t matrix target matrix with the help of p matrix which is having the features m s and c which is calculated here okay uh, is fed to the p and p is with the help of p i'm going to perform training with the t as a target matrix the number of epoch i have set here is 1000 the training parameter goal is being fed is 0 0.01 and the training is being done here again and the network after the pre-trained network is get saved in the form of mat file in our current directory like here i'm going to delete here so because i'm going to create it again so here i'm going to run the main program and let's see what happens so this main program is reading the image let me make it large okay and the training is being done where i have i'm taken three input layer three hidden layer of tensing one hidden layer of prelin one output layer which is being trained on the behalf basis of target matrix okay and the train pre-trained network is get saved here okay now what i am what i what we require we require to perform the testing on the image so for testing i just create another script and i call, name this testing is uh, name this script as for testing okay uh, the pre-trained network is being loaded as it is uh, saved in our workspace so first we require to load that pre-trained network let me show you a few regression plot of my training performance so regression plot shows that i am getting um, good accuracy i believe and as you can see the uh, mean square uh, msc value is quite at the top of 10 raised to 1 minus 1 and the blue line of the training performance is going down which is showing that uh, our performance uh, 
the training is being achieved at uh, at the very initial stage and it is the optimized way okay the best validation perform performance is being achieved at uh, 0 0.15938 and at the very first epoch it is being achieved so yeah, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to perform the testing perform performance. I've loaded the pre-trained network here. Okay, the file is being loaded here. The same process as we followed the previously is applicable to the test image. And with the help of pre-trained network, which is which I used here, okay, and the features of current matrix P. Feature of current matrix P. Uh, current image is being fed here and it will give me an output prediction or at here y which is further round off with the help of uh, round function and if the output will comes out more than one that mean the that mean the image is corrupted one else it is the normal and the eye is not suffering from diabetic retinopathy let me run the testing performance just select any image oh my god and it is correct yeah you can see the image i have taken is disease one and my network is showing that it is the disease i okay so think about if this this type of application is built and can be implemented on a handheld device and people is carrying that handheld device then they would be able to diagnose their eye and would not get blind with the diabetes so this is my aim to view, uh, show you this video i hope i'll explain you everything let me run the uh, training and let me tell you about myself and our organization so you can uh, get to know about our services uh, by visiting our webs this is Ajay Jatav, my contact number, my email ID for related query related to service. And uh, let me run the program again so that uh, you would be get familiar it. Okay, here I'm going to perform the training and testing will be done with the help of for testing. Okay, the labeling is done at here because uh, neural net uh, in this time I'm, I'm applying the supervised learning. And let me make it large because it's it looks good and the training okay this time I have uh, the best epoch performance is at retration 7 regression plot can be viewed by here and the training performance is here here best try uh, best epoch as epoch 1 and now it's time to run for testing choose any image from the data set okay and I have just selected the 15th image and which is the damage image and our algorithm is also prove the hypothesis okay thanks friends I hope I give you sufficient information of diabetic retinopathy disease detection okay this is our database and thanks for watching my video this side Ajay Jata. Goodbye my friends and love you all.